All right, round robin, finally. People have been asking me to do this video forever. Uh, so first, I'm gonna explain what a round robin is, for starters. Uh, second half of the video will be when to use them in the smartest way, because they're not always smart, they're usually not smart. But how to use them in the smartest possible way. Let's get into it. Welcome to the source. Hey, get the source. The source. Source. The source. Hey, get the sauce. Okay, so what is a round robin? Very common question. Probably the most confusing type of bed out there. So essentially a round robin is a combination of parlays. The best way to show you what a round robin is, is to just place one in this video with you, show you what I'm doing and what everything means. So say it's Saturday and you wanna place a college football round robin. It's Saturday morning, we're scrolling through our phone. In New Jersey, we bet on our phones. I don't know what happens in other states, but it's like, okay, I like Northwestern plus seven and a half. I like Florida plus nine, Pittsburgh minus four, yada, yada, yada. Get through the list. Okay, I like six picks today. I wanna place a round robin with these. By the way, it doesn't have to be six. For this example, I'm using six picks, but it could be any amount, any combination. So now we've selected our spots, right? But now we need to pick which kind of round robin we're even placing. You can pick a two pick, three pick, four pick, or five pick. Two pick would be the safest. Five pick round robin would be the riskiest. All right, so let's say we wanna place a safe round robin with these six picks. The safest option is the two pick. So we type in $5 into this little box next to two pick here. If you notice it says times 15 next to it. The reason for that is essentially, we are placing 15 different $5 two pick parlays. I'm gonna say that again. What I'm doing here is placing 15 different parlays Every single combination, every single possible two pick parlay you can make out of these six spots. You notice at the bottom it says your total wager is $75, not five, because you just placed 15 different parlays. I'm gonna put all the combinations on the screen so you can visualize it. So now that we've placed our round robins, football happens, let's say we go four and two. Four out of our six picks hit. That means six out of our 15 possible parlays just hit. So the payout would be, whatever those six parlays pay out, six $5 parlays, whatever they pay out. That's what you just made. Now rewind, let's say we wanna do a three pick parlay. That's a little bit riskier. Same thing, we'll drop $5 in the box. This time it's times 20, cause there's 20 different combinations of three pick parlays out of those six spots. It's always going to be every single combination you can make of that pick parlay out of all your total spots. So again, say we go four and two, four out of our six spots hit. That means only four out of our 20 possible parlays hit, but these are three pick parlays, so they're gonna pay out more. Now that brings us to the most important question, because a lot of you already knew that. When is the smartest time to use round robins? I understand round robins, you understand round robins. When do we use them? How can we use them to turn a profit? The answer is if you're doing handicapper math, if you're playing the odds, playing the spots, there's really only two instances where a round robin could be considered a decent decision. The first and most common situation where people will tell you a round robin is a good idea is if you like a lot of underdogs to win outright. So say it's football Sunday now, right? It's Sunday morning, I'm scrolling through. Um, I do all my picks, I pick my favorite spots and four of them happen to be underdogs and I think those underdogs can win the game straight up. What I'll do is I'll take all those money lines, those underdog money lines, I'll dump them into a round robin, I'll run a two pick and a three pick round robin simultaneously and if I go three and one, if three out of those four money lines hit, I'm gonna be up a good amount. If I go four and oh, I'm making my next video in Miami Beach. <laughs> so it's a safer way to parlay those underdogs, right? Cause you're like, oh, I like these four teams. I think they all could win, but I don't wanna get completely screwed over if one of them lose. Now the second instance to use round robins, and this is less popular. I love, I do this all the time, especially in NBA season. So say it's Friday and we got a loaded NBA slate, like 11 games, right? and I'm scrolling through and there's six picks I like, I really like. What I will do is I will take those six picks, tease each one of them to make the odds about plus 135, plus 140, somewhere in there, each one. So if I like Celtics plus six, I'm putting in Celtics plus two and a half. If I like the Phoenix Suns minus four, I'm putting in Phoenix minus seven. If I like the Heat plus one, I'm putting in Miami minus two and a half. You understand, I'm teasing every single one of my favorite picks up to the odds is a plus 135 in that range. I'll do the same thing. I'll take all six of those adjusted lines. I'll throw them into a round robin. I'll run a two pick round robin and a three pick round robin. Now, why did I just do that? The reason is all I need to do in this scenario, if you do it right, 
is go 500. If I go three out of six here, I'm getting my money back and a few extra dollars. If I go four and two, I'm cashing out kind of nice. If I go five and one, holy shit. If I go six and oh, you will never see my ass again. I will buy an island. Basically to summarize what I just said, the smartest time to use a round robin is when you have multiple plays that you like with plus 125, 130 odds or greater. So that is my take on round robins. I hope you all understood that. I know that was a lot of information. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, or I'm launching the VIP service for my website next week. Um, so if you sign up for that, you can just text me and I'll tell you. But uh, yeah, have fun placing some round robins. Um, I'll talk to you tomorrow, 3.30 tomorrow's episode.